Hello, I'm Graham, and I hope everyone's having a great day. For once, it is a great day here on Arran, and I'm actually in the village of Limlash. Well, today I'm making my way back to the ferry, and I'm hopefully going to go up Glen Rosa. Um, it's about a three hour up and down trip, um, so it depends whether I can get to Broderick and uh, the, the start from the walk um, in time to allow me to get back in time for boarding the ferry. Looks like a good day, so I should be able to get some great pictures of the waterfalls up there. And the wind isn't that high, so I might be able to take the drone up there. But um, this wind has a habit of just uh, springing up from nowhere. In fact, it's just starting to come up now. So, I'll depart from Lumlash and I'm going to head down into Brodick, where I'm going to get a breakfast roll and a cup of coffee. And then we'll start today's journey. Well, I'm heading up the road into Glen Rossa, which is in the background there. It's uh, warmed up nicely. It was only six degrees when we left Kildonan this morning, but it's about seven and a half degrees now. So by midday, it's going to be reaching the 10 or 11 degrees. So that's going to be perfect for walking. The sun is out, so we should get some spectacular pictures up in the valley. Uh, and hopefully get some nice waterfall shots when we're up there. So let's head on down that road. This is really a beautiful valley and round every corner there's a picture taking opportunity. We're heading right up into the valley, up to the first waterfall. It takes about 45 minutes walk from here, so it gives me plenty of time to set up and capture that waterfall and then get back for the ferry boarding. What you didn't see off camera was me just falling in the water. I slipped on this algae here on the rock. I was just about going to install my 10 stop ND filter on the camera and I stepped onto the slime and it threw me into the water. So I've got a wet foot at the moment. So I've set up my camera to do a time lapse of the clouds passing over the mountain behind. I've set up with an electronic shutter so I'm not doing much wear with the mechanical shutter. I've set up for 400 exposures at 5 second interval. After that time lapse is finished I'll create three videos, one at 50 frames per second, one at 25 frames per second and the other at 12 and a half frames per second just to show the difference in the motion of the clouds across that mountain.
As you can see, I've got the Glen all to myself. There's only been two other people that have come to look at the waterfall. They stayed while they had a banana and then they left. So now I've got the whole valley to myself. And what a fantastic sight this is. The sun has come out, taken away all my cares and woes, and I feel great. Got some great shots today, got the drone up, got some fantastic shots with the drone. Some nice time-lapse video. So in all, a great day and a great trip. Now, just after that last piece of camera where I was saying how much I was enjoying my day, I had a slight accident slipping on some wet rocks and banged my head on some other rocks. So, ah, knocked some sense into the old goat anyway. Don't try and jump eight foot wide rivers.